We got a case of the Mondays. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Polly. Polly is a 1989 magical world Disney television release and it is directed by Debbie Allen, cinematography by Isadori Mankowski, editing by Jim McElroy, music by Joel McNeely, and it's written by William Blinn. Debbie Allen is best known for the famed television show as well as the famed movie, Amistad and Grey's Anatomy. Isadori Mankowski I covered in the video about Little Spies. The link will be in the description. Jim McElroy is best known for fame, The Golden Girls, and Judgment, the court martial of Lieutenant William Collie, Joel McNeely, and William Blinn. I both already covered it in the video about Davy Crockett, Rainbow, and the Thunder. The link will be in the description. The film is based off a book called Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter, which is already a film by Disney starring Haley Mills. So this is a remake, and it's just called Polly instead of Pollyanna. The film obviously is based off the book and off the movie that's already happened because I couldn't find a very detailed synopsis, so I won't be able to compare the book to the movie. But the book is about an optimistic child whose parents passed away, so she moves in with her snooty aunt in a fictional town, and she kind of teaches the people around town to play the glad game that she learned from her dad, where it's to see the good in any horrible situation you're in. And the biggest difference I could find is Polly gets hit by a car in the book, and that's how she loses the use of her legs, where in both the Pollyanna starring Haley Mills and this Polly, she falls trying to sneak out from a tree and that's how she injures herself. The film stars Keisha Knight Pulliam, Felicia Rashad, Brandon Quinton, Barbara Montgomery, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Dorian Harewood, Larry Riley, Brock Peters, and Celeste Holm. Keisha Knight Pulliam plays Polly and she is best known for The Cosby Show, House of Pain, Medea Goes to Jail, and Cut into Mustard. Felicia Rashad plays Aunt Polly and she's best known for The Cosby Show, For Colored Girls, Creed, and Creed 2. Brandon Quinton Adams plays Jimmy Bean and he's best known for The Sandlot, The People Under the Stairs, The Mighty Ducks, and Moonwalker. Barbara Montgomery plays Mrs. Conley and she's best known for The Meteor Man, A Different World, Quantum Leap, and Moscow on the Hudson. Vanessa Bell Calloway plays Nancy and she's best known for Coming to America, What's Love Got to Do With It, Daylight, and Lakeview Terrace. Dorian Harewood plays Dr. Shannon, and he's best known for Full Metal Jacket, Space Jam, Sudden Death, and Assault on Precinct 13. Larry Riley plays Reverend Gillis, and he's best known for Knox Landing, A Soldier Story, Stir Crazy, and Crackers. Brock Peters plays Mr. Pendergast, and I covered him in the video about the Million Dollar Dixie Deliverance, and Celeste Holm plays Miss Snow, and I covered her in the video about the Bluegrass Special. Both links will be in the description. As I said, this is a Pollyanna remake. Haley Mills was in the first one. This Polly is an all African American cast and it's a musical. Freaking bop over here, my guy. Well, the representation is everything. I was living when I found out, and I am living, still am living. When I found out it was an all African American cast, I was really excited for that representation because it's 1989. Yes. Also, it was amazing. It's pretty much the same film as the Haley Mills version in the 60s. It's just a musical now, and honestly, a bop. Like, the songs don't move the story forward, They're, except maybe Aunt Polly's song, but they're still really fun, and I don't think they took away from the story. I think they added to the effect that Polly has on the town. And I really enjoyed the film. I think Felicia Rashad is absolutely stunning. In that purple polka dotted dress, I was like, I'm never gonna be the same. She's so beautiful. Dr. Shannon is also so handsome and wonderful. And I just am like, so here for everyone. And Keisha obviously did an incredible job. Just the acting in this film is amazing. And the music was so fun. Jimmy Bean rocks all of his dance. So. Brandon Quentin Adams rocks all of his dance scenes and his singing and it's pretty much the same story. They have like, you know, Mr. Pendergast is up in the house that everyone's afraid of, but he's just like alone and Miss Snow was crotchety and old and alone and the bridge burned down so that's why. So yeah, so it's the same movie pretty much, but it's got a little bit of a racial twist, which I actually really enjoyed. It was, there was originally a bridge between the towns and one side of the town, Aunt Polly owns the plantation 
and she helps everyone have their jobs and that's the african-american town pretty much there's really no white people in that town and then miss snow owns the other town pretty much and that's pretty much the white majority town and there was a bridge between them and they were all, all got along but then someone burned down the bridge and it caused this big like strife and all this kind of stuff but it turns out it was just an accident and then everyone like builds a new bridge and they get excited and it's it was really good. I was dreading when Polly was going to get hurt the entire time because it was a remake, so I didn't know if they were going to actually hurt her, if she was going to be able to walk again, if she was going to die. I didn't know what to expect. Her parents are dead. They did say it on screen. Those are some parent deaths. We will count them. So I dreaded when she was going to get hurt. And then the music when she fell out of that tree. Oh, and they showed... They didn't show her falling out of the tree like they did in the not that they sh fully showed her falling out of the tree in the original Pollyanna, but it was just as sad and just as effective, but I did not cry. I got close, but I didn't cry. But thoroughly enjoyable. Remember how I literally just said I didn't cry? I did cry. There's a big old cry count staring me in the face, but I don't remember crying. I don't remember where I cried. Where did I cry? Maybe I cried. I mean, it had to. Not right when she got hurt, I don't think I cried, but maybe when everyone... Maybe when Mr. Pendergast and Miss Snow carried her out and everyone was there to greet her. Maybe that's when I cried? I don't know, but apparently I cried. So there's that. I really liked this movie. Definitely recommend. I think I'll give it like a seven. Seven... Bridges out of ten. <laughs> Our total movie count is... Our parent death toll is... <laughs> Our cry count is! <laughs> oh, man! If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. You guys, Wednesday is a behind-the-scenes video of the entire celebration. I have recorded and edited my entire process of me doing this entire celebration month. And I think hopefully you guys will really like it. Technically, I'm not finished filming it because right now I'm filming Polly so you can gather. So I hope it turns out great. And I hope you guys like it. And then of course, once after Wednesday, which technically begins the week straight, week and a half-ish straight of videos, Thursday begins our entire week straight of videos all the way until the celebration. So be sure to tune in for the next week and a half because it's gonna be awesome. Okay. Um, I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and soon, for an entire like week and a half. Until next time, which is Wednesday. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not sure if you are, so you do, and don't be. There's really no one evil in the Polly and Pollyanna movies, because everyone's like nice and learns their lesson, so, um. Be Pollyanna about it. Play the glad game. Be positive influence. Put good into the world. <laughs> said I was filming a behind the scenes and this is me filming the behind the scenes right now so when you watch it on Wednesday I'll put this in it <laughs>